Oh, hi. Welcome back. I'm starting a new research topic. It's about sensor fusion for camera data and LiDAR data from the real world and try to make a DIY ADAS warning system for drivers. So the first thing is to record some data. I will put the camera and LiDAR on my vehicle. Okay, let's do this now. So you see the LiDAR is powered by 12 volts. So I'm going to use the a power converter to take the, the power from my vehicle. Saturday, no one comes to school, and uh, I like that. This uh, place is the IGVC organization, uh, I mean, competition here, so it's a good place for testing my vehicle. Now I'm putting my lidars and camera on my vehicle. I have to measure the position of the LiDAR and the camera and make a TF tree. Uh, the LiDAR is 12 volts and uh, I use this converter to take the voltage for my vehicle. The camera I use is Logitech HD Pro webcam. This camera has 1080 pixels, but I don't need that much. In the ROS node, I can set the value of the image width and height. I set 720 and 1280. For the Validen LiDAR, I use the VLP16. This has 16 laser beam and is 100 meter range. The max range in the ROS node is default as 170 and the minimum range is 0.4 meters. This is the TF tree of my vehicle. We have two wheels and uh, one base footprint. This footprint is in the middle of two rear wheels. LiDAR is the child TF tree from the base footprint. And the camera is one child TF tree to the LiDAR TF tree. And I also import a robot model for my vehicle. And it also has a plate. I download this cruise model from website and then changing the color and modify the plate. It's, it's uh, exactly the same as my vehicle. So we can also inside 
the vehicle to check inside. So I get a steering and a display window and control window. But this this just the pictures. So first, I want to test two positions of the LiDAR. So one is on the middle of the roof and the other one is in the front of the roof. And the camera should be outside my window shield. The two positions for LiDARs, I want to test the performance of the LiDAR, which is better to capture surrounding environment. Okay, now I'm in the vehicle to test the performance of the LiDARs. So from the RVs, we can see some purple point cloud data generated from the LiDAR and uh, it presents the ground. So the position for this LiDAR is in front of the roof. By this way, we only can focus on the front object. And now I suddenly realize the webcam is doesn't right. It starts my laptop webcam. So I starting change the device from video one to video zero. And now I restart the ROS node and hopefully it can start my USB cam. Okay now it's going now it's going right. Uh, so you can see from the camera, we can see my trap bot and also in the RVs, we can see the point cloud present by the trap bot. So honestly, this performance is not what I want because if I put the LiDAR in front of the roof, it only focus on the front, but I'm, but I want to do some camera fusion with LiDAR, so I also want to track in some objects surrounding the environment. So maybe next step, I will put the LiDAR on the roof of the vehicle, not in front of the vehicle. After I set up everything, I walk around my vehicle to record some back file for analysis. You can see the purple point cloud data is detect my body and my body is shown as in point cloud data. This project is about the sensor fusion for LiDAR and camera, which means I will extract the pixel from the camera and also the point cloud from the LiDAR, I'll combine them together to see what can I do for that. I will record series video for this project. It is my first time to doing this and hope you like it. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. I'll see you next video. Thank you.